Air travel is gradually resuming at America's airports after a critical nationwide computer safety system went down, grounding all flights in the U.S. earlier this morning. Today's travel mess, yet another reminder of just how painful flying can be. Travelers these days are seeing more cancellations and are experiencing longer wait times at security while paying higher prices for airfare. And on top of this, top U.S. airlines reported a big uptick last year in mishandled luggage, which you're probably paying extra for in the first place. Meanwhile, the man tasked with keeping transportation running smoothly, your boy Pete Buttigieg, is facing a new travel controversy of his own. Fox News has learned the transportation secretary took a government jet to New York City back in April for a radio interview and for two brief meetings before jetting back to D.C. hours later. One of those meetings was with the president of the ACLU, Kennedy. So not only are our tax dollars paying for this, but frankly, I think it's it's pretty safe to say that he's not doing his job very well. No, there it, it's it, I, I kind of almost feel bad for people to judge because he's had transportation crisis after crisis, <laughs> which so normally doesn't happen with the secretary of transportation. Normally no one knows who the secretary of transportation <laughs> so is, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it, it's been literally one thing after another. And the biggest ones have involved the airlines. And, you know, he's one of those people who talks a big game like oh, I've been on the phone with them, like really working this out, mm -hmm. but never does anything, never addresses those mysterious root causes that we hear so much about <laughs> from the administration and then also has the gall to lecture us on going green and making sacrifices and riding his bike for a couple of blocks like a brave eco warrior <laughs> then at the same time he's taken a private jet to new york last i checked there's about 1700 flights from dc to new york that you cannot they call them shuttles they're not even yeah. like yeah. planes they're they're flying buses <laughs> and he could get on one of those and help save the planet but apparently he hates earth but, and here's that whole point. He touted his leadership. He touted his experience when other people question it, including the current president in a, in a sort of newly resurfaced campaign ad that was lambasting his lack, lack of experience. So to Kennedy's point, so fine. So now you're in charge of transportation. Correct me if I'm wrong. The last time every single U.S. flight was grounded was 9-11. And it happens mm -hmm. under his watch. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's coincidence. I don't think that the stars were just in a certain place. I think he is unable to perform his duties and should either resign or get with a program. Look, we're just number four on the hopscotch map here. Seriously, yeah. <laughs> he's just jumping through to get to the, to yeah, the, to he just wants to get to the top. Yeah. He literally wants to get to the top. I mean, ha does anybody have any doubts that this man doesn't want to run for president again? Yeah. I mean, that's how he's acting, because if he weren't acting this way, it would look like leadership and accountability, and you'd get goo on your shoe. <laughs> you're, not, you're not actually going to get on a plane, Kennedy, where the public is flying Ooh, no. at this point. <laughs> Dirty no. You know he has to take a private flight, because we have a lot of questions as a public and as journalists. So I, I'm, not, I'm not surprised no. by his reaction in all of this. I'm disappointed in it. But we're number four on the hot scop. Well, but but you, blame, you blame Joe Biden for putting him in this position. I mean, this man's travel experience, his transportation experience, was as mayor of South Bend. I had a kid who went to Notre Dame. His big introduction was Lime Scooters, which the locals threw into the river. That was his transportation <laughs> initiative, okay? It was a complete <laughs> bomb. Yet, we make him transportation secretary, and during Southwest's software and yeah. computer crash, this guy was out there trashing them, saying, how dare they? They need to update systems. Hello? Now the government system goes up, and he's yeah. making phone calls and checking on it. I'm sorry, he wasn't ready for prime time. Mm. And every time we see a crisis, P Pete Buttigieg proves he wasn't ready for prime time or that advancement that but I that's the point carly so seeks. i think that raymond has a servant's heart and you are very generous i am less generous than he is <laughs> that was because, generosity because remember in the whole um railroad union debacle where people's oh, yeah. really important needs were on the line um where was pete oh i think he was in portugal he was in Port i think yeah. he was on the beach i would have loved to be there on the beach too buddy but you know what that's what happens when you get appointed to a position like that you you roll up your sleeves and you work in concert with the american people so yes he's ill-equipped but you can also rise to the occasion he could have met that challenge because if he's trying okay. to demonstrate a presidential quality i haven't seen any well, he didn't yet. do it with the supply chain crisis no that's exactly right exactly. and then that's to kennedy's point there have been so many 
truly so many transportation disasters on his watch in this country. Everybody knows who the transportation secretary is, and we shouldn't. <laughs> it's like one of those positions right, yeah. where you just like shouldn't know who the person is. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to Pete Buttigieg's private jet usage, though, if you're a member of the administration that's trying to ban gas stoves because of climate change, yeah. maybe practice some personal self-awareness and skip the private jet flight. <laughs> um, yeah. But it never really works out that way. Um, this situation that unfolded this morning, though, I feel so bad for everybody at the airport uh, because you know that this is going to have that trickle down effect yep. and it's going to be, you know, the flights in the morning are going to impact the afternoon flights and then the nighttime flights. And it, it affected the NOTAM system, which advises pilots on uh, certain things that could be happening in the air, flocks of birds, even something like a military exercise or a missile strike that went down. So now the question is, well, where did all the billions of dollars go in the infrastructure bill? Great because question. you are, we're, we're working apparently so, with an antiquated system here and that needs to be updated. So that's right. part of why my first inclination when I learned about this was we need an independent, transparent investigation into why this is happening. Okay. We now have had several officials at top levels, including the President of the United States and Secretary Buttigieg, say today they don't know why this happened. Yeah. So they wanted to reassure us that it wasn't a cyber attack. And I appreciate that. Um, bringing us to a full ground stop for the first time since 9-11, as Emily pointed out, um, that's problematic. So that means, well, could it happen again? And so the President has tasked Pete Buttigieg and his team to investigate this. That's like, Kennedy, you and I going out and, and borrowing some girlfriend's shoes and ruining them, and then I put you in charge of investigating me, and then I investigate you. Right? <laughs> Over right? cocktails. Right, right. exactly. <laughs> Over cocktails. Yeah. Right. So I, I do think that this is critical enough and that this has happened with an airline. Something not the same, but something similar in terms of technology yeah. playing a role and, and accountability necessary for all of this that maybe we have somebody outside the loop. Right, yeah. particularly when it's, when it's impacting commerce and travel for an entire day. Well, and How safety, many? safety, according right. to Congressman Matt. Absolutely. Just, you know, this entire system is very vulnerable. We know this, and which makes me scared why it's the government that then looks into it and has oversight. Because to me, the largest hemorrhage of finances and common sense would be the government, mm -hmm. especially this one under this administration. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.